guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite fragrant orchids in my collection. So, I pretty much like to grow orchids for not only their blooms, but their fragrance. So I think that fragrance is very important to me. That's why I have a lot of Cattleya orchids. Now, not all Cattleyas are fragrant, but I made a list of 10 different orchids, mostly Cattleyas, um, some Phalaenopsis, some Vandas. Vandas smell really nice. I wish I had more luck with them here. But I have a mixture of different orchids that I really love, and I'm going to share um, why I like them. I'm going to describe the fragrance, and I want you guys to let me know down below which are some of your favorite fragrant orchids and why. So with that said, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first orchid that I really, really, really enjoy is the Patanera Hawaiian Charisma Hawaii. You guys see this orchid all the time. It's always in bloom. Um, it's very vigorous. I've had it for maybe three years, and this orchid, guys, I'm telling you, it smells like lemon sorbet. It's really strong. It's got a beautiful, really big flower, and I absolutely love it. I got it from Carmela Orchids about three and a half years ago and it's been growing nicely ever since. But the this orchid is just so beautiful. It's so easy to grow, but the fragrance is just, it smells like lemon sorbet. You put your nose to it and it's really, really strong. If you're far away, you could still kind of smell it as well. When it's blooming, I like to put it in my living room and it's divine. I really love it and I would say lemon sorbet really captures what it smells like. It's one of my top favorite orchids. Very easy to grow, it's a very complex hybrid and I highly recommend that one. No surprise on the next orchid. So the next orchid that I find to have a really nice fragrance is the Phalaenopsis bellina. So that is a species orchid and it smells like lemons and it's like a I don't even know how to describe it it's like a sophisticated lemon <laughs> I don't even know what to say but it's so beautiful it it's very strong this orchid does get a little bit bigger with time I've had mine about three and a half years as well I got mine from Hauserman orchids but when it blooms it puts out one or two flowers and it's just this citrusy beautiful fragrance that I just beyond citrusy, lemony. I don't know how to best describe it, but it's lovely. It's very elegant. It's quite strong. And when you smell it, you kind of, you, you get it. Um, so Phalaenopsis Bellina, really love that one. So nice. And if you don't have one in your collection, I highly recommend it just given that it doesn't need that much, um, that much light. Um, the only thing you got to do is you got to keep it pretty warm but other than that it's very easy to grow and i just love the fragrance on this one okay switching gears with an orchid that's that has a very different fragrance from the other two is the blc wine leopard Qinghua. so this orchid it smells like a spicy cinnamon floral it it sounds weird but it works really really well so when it bloomed for the first time for me I smelled it in my living room, so I displayed it in my living room. I was just sitting right here on my couch. I had it on the windowsill, and I was like, mm, what's that smell? So it's like, it smells like fall. It's just like this, it's like this rosy cinnamon, and so it's like you rub two sticks of cinnamon along with some rose petals, and you muddled it together, and you are, and you have a potpourri going. I don't know. <laughs> That's the way that I would describe it, but... It's beautiful. The flowers last about three weeks. I get those blooms maybe twice a year, so I don't see it that often when it blooms, but when it does, oh my goodness, that fragrance is so amazing. It's different. It's like that spicy floral. You get it on some orchids, um, but really love that one. So beautiful so strong it can fill a room it's not one of those light ones that you have to stick your nose into that one you could smell from pretty far away highly recommend that one on to the fourth fragrant orchid um the next one is the um phalaenopsis sweet memory so i got that as a gift um about two years ago for my birthday and 
That one is so beautiful and and it also smells kind of like um, citrusy, not quite just like a lemon, but just there's this strong citrus fragrance on it. It's really nice. There is a grower on YouTube that has four or five of them. She's obsessed with them. Um, I will link her channel down below, but it is because this orchid just smells so good. I have such a hard time describing this one because it's beyond, um, it's beyond like citrus, beyond lemon. It's like, I don't even know what to say. It's so hard to describe fragrance. It is like, someone also said it's like Viva La Juicy perfume. So it's like a perfumey kind of citrus. So not just a fruit, but something that you can wear. It's lovely. The flowers are nice. They last a long time. It is so nice. It is not like the Bellino when I say that one smells like lemons. This one is more like a perfume that you can wear. Um, hard to hard to even describe it, but I'm doing my best here. But it's like a Viva La Juicy, maybe like a citrus with jasmine in it. Yeah, I would say it's that, like a citrus with jasmine in it. Mm, I haven't smelled it in a while because it hasn't been in bloom for a while, but it's so good. So number five, the next one that I really like is the Neo Phoenicia Falcata, and that one is, mm, it's so good. So a lot of the nocturnal uh, blooming orchids, the ones that smell, have fragrance at night, typically they have white flowers. Those tend to smell really, really, really good. Um, Neo Phoenicia Falcata also smells like, the smell registers in my head, but I have such a hard time describing it. Maybe like, it, it smells like an expensive perfume, like a gardenia, like maybe hints of lilac. I don't even know how to describe it. I struggle, but it's cer it is certainly a floral, an expensive, very nice, expensive smelling orchid. Beyond that, <laughs> I don't know how to describe that one. I was on such a roll when I started this video and then now when I'm describing these fragrances, I'm I'm just at a loss for what to say, but I know what it smells like in my brain and I'm just having such a hard time telling you what it smells like, but trust me, you need a Neo Phoenicia Falcata in your collection. Those tiny little dainty flowers at night when they're open, they're magic, they're so nice. Highly recommend it. I feel like I'm struggling here, but I'm gonna do my best to describe the next one. So number six is the Cattleya Hamana Egret. So that one is a Cattleya Valkyriana hybrid. It is Cattleya Valkyriana by the Cattleya Dubiosa Scully. And that one is another one of those cinnamon kind of fragrances, cinnamon rosy type. Um, a lot of Cattleyas I've noticed are on the citrus side, they're on the rosy side, they could be on the spicy cinnamon side, fruity side, but this this um, Cattleya is more like also like cinnamon sticks but also floral so it's like a rosy spicy cinnamon. It kind of reminds me of the Phalaenopsis violacea a bit, very kind of similar fragrance so if you like more spicy more woodsy type fragrance with floral undertones. This is a good one for you. Uh, the Cattleya Valkyriana for me, it smells like roses. So you could definitely get hints of that in the background, but you also get that spicy, that spicy note behind. It's really, really nice. Um, I guess I love all of these. I'm like, it's the best one. It's the best one. These are not in order. They're just so memorable to me because the fragrance is so, so nice. So that's another one that you can check out that very memorable, very strong, very nice fragrance. Okay, so the next one is actually in bloom and I have it right now. So this one is the BLC Prada Green Deluxe. So this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous orchid. It usually gives me just one bloom. It's the third time that it blooms for me. This um, orchid has a lot of substance. It is not like a, it may look like it has a frilly lip here, but it actually is quite waxy. So it's not one of those floofy, uh, 
light kind of cattleyas that fades really fast. So this smells like limes. It's so nice. It's so strong. Sometimes I get like a little bit of hints of pink down here, which is pretty cool. Um, this one has the cattleya, the Rinko Lelia Digbiana in it, hence that frilliness down here. But this is really strong. It's gorgeous. I love the flower. I love the strength of the fragrance. I could smell it not from, I don't have to be that close. So right now it's pretty much overwhelming me. And when I get close, I'm just, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I say this about every orchid, but I just love them. And even the color is like a lime green and, and the fragrance is like a limeade. It is lovely. I love these fragrances. Also, this orchid had um, spider mites um, a couple of months ago and I successfully treated it. So the new leaf has no uh, spider mites any longer. And um, if you want to check that video out, you can check it out right here where you see wh how I got rid of the spider mites and the thrips. But this one, BLC Prada Green Deluxe, another one I highly recommend for its lovely lime fragrance. Okay, the next orchid is a favorite for a lot of folks. Um, the next one is the Oncidium Sherry Baby. So I have a lot of um, different types of Sherry Baby through the years. I've given a lot of them away. Um, I had the Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby and that one smelled really nice. I had the Oncidium um, Raspberry Chocolate as well. That one smelled good, but it um, was a little different. If you wanna check out the difference between the different kinds of Sherry Babies, check this out. There was a point in time where I had all of them, but I've downsized. So now I have just the traditional Sherry Baby and that one smells really nice. It is known as the Chocolate Orchid. Some folks say that it smells like vanilla to them. Either way, it's a very easy orchid to grow. It is highly fragrant. It was my first fragrant orchid. So for a lot of folks that are new to orchid growing, I highly recommend that orchid. It, um, depending on the different type of sherry baby it can have a very strong fragrance or a more faint fragrance it really depends they're not all the same um, there's different types of hybrids so i find that the actual sherry baby and the sherry baby red fantasy they tend to smell the strongest and some that are a little bit more complex the flowers are waxier and the flowers are actually a little bit nicer, like the raspberry chocolate, but that one for me didn't smell as strong. Check out that video that I have um, linked down below if you wanna hear more about the differences, but Shari Baby is a classic fragrant orchid. And I think one that almost all orchid growers need in their collection, just given that lovely chocolate slash vanilla fragrance, so good. The next one is another Cattleya Orchid, and this one is the Potanera Barana Beauty Barana. So I actually repotted and divided this orchid, and um, it's a very vigorous one. I'm not a huge fan of the flower. It's red and yellow. Those are not my favorite colors together, um, but the fragrance is something else. So it smells like a tea rose, and... I don't know if Miss Orchid Girl described it as that way, but after I heard about it, I got it and I smelled it and I got it. I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's delicate. It's pretty. It's very common to get three or four blooms from it. It's also quite compact, so it's not humongous, so it doesn't get huge on you. And that's a really good one. So. Highly recommend that one as well. That one falls more on the floral, rosy kind of fragrance um, department. And if you're into that, I think you'll really like that orchid. Okay, the last orchid on my list is the Phalaenopsis Chang Ji Jia, Chang Ji Lady. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. But the Phalaenopsis Changjia Lady is one of those orchids that smells, it smells like juicy fruit gum. It's very fruity, it's not floral, it's very sweet. It literally smells like a pack of juicy fruit gum. I love this one because when it blooms, the blooms are extremely waxy and they'll last for four months. It's a sequential bloomer. For me, it blooms six, seven months out of the year, which is amazing. I usually, all spring and summer, it's on my windowsill 
sitting here on my couch watching TV during the day and I just get that juicy fruit fragrance from that orchid. It's so pretty. It's The flowers are they're purple slash red and um, they've got a lot of substance to them and that fragrance is so nice. So if you guys don't have any um, fragrant Phalaenopsis orchids, if you're just uh, growing complex Phalaenopsis orchids for now, highly recommend you check out some of the novelty fowls. They tend to have really nice fragrance. Um, I wanted to keep this video a little bit short, but I have a lot of Phalaenopsis with fragrance. Another one that I really like is the LD Bears King. Um, that one is really nice. There are other fowls that smell really good, like the Violacea, which I mentioned before. A lot of them have really good fragrance, and some have terrible fragrance, like my Phalaenopsis amboinensis. Not my favorite. Maybe one day I'll do a video of the most terrible smelling orchids. Um, but I don't have that many because I don't like to keep orchids that I don't enjoy the fragrance on. But there's um, a lot of Bulbophyllums that I've smelled at orchid shows where they smell like rotting meat. And I'm like, no thank you. The flowers are nice. But when you get close, they're not great. So... <laughs> So those are my favorite orchids. Again, not everything that I enjoyed was mentioned. Like there's the Brassavola types that have really nice fragrance as well. There's just so many out there, but these are some of my favorites. These are my top 10 favorites. So they'll, they fall into so many different categories. Floral, there's some that smell soapy. I have some orchids that smell like baby powder. There's some that smell like cinnamon and cloves. There's some that are very citrusy. There's some that are fruity, but not citrusy. There's so much variety. I'm curious to know what some of your favorite, most fragrant orchids are down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.